Lake Mead water level in record low, Nevada conserves but still not enough. Federal officials call for massive cuts along the Colorado River has water managers in the American West scrambling to find common ground before the federal government comes down with its own proverbial hammer. It's a blow Southern Nevada is well positioned to absorb, thanks to a two-decade head start on conservation and significant investments in infrastructure to ensure water continues to flow in the Las Vegas Valley even in the worst of conditions. We're far and away the best positioned, said John Ensminger, general manager of the Southern Nevada Water Authority. For more than 20 years the authority has pushed for conservation efforts to reduce the valley's water consumption. And those efforts have paid off. Nevada consumed 242,000 acre-feet of water in 2021, roughly about 80% of the 300,000 acre-feet of Colorado River water it's entitled to annually under a series of agreements that stretch back 100 years. That's more than 80,000 acre-feet, or about 27 million gallons, less than the Las Vegas Valley consumed in 2002 when there were 800,000 fewer residents. Still, Lake Mead's levels have continued to decline over the past two decades as a persistent drought has strained the Colorado River, a vital water supply for roughly 40 million people. As of Thursday, the water level at Lake Mead was at 1,043.7 feet above sea level. In early 2000, the lake level was over 1,200 feet. In April, as levels continued to fall, the authority turned on pumps for a third straw and pumping station that allows it to draw water from near the bottom of Lake Mead, a project paid for by ratepayers that cost roughly $1.50 billion. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation said last week that climate change fueled shortages along the Colorado River Basin will require additional cuts of 2 million to 4 million acre feet next year to preserve critical levels at Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Ensminger doesn't foresee outright limitations on development or growth amid those cuts. But the reductions along the river that supplies about 90% of southern Nevada's water could move up the need for future conservation efforts and will put a larger magnifying glass on what kinds of companies and businesses southern Nevada can target for economic development. We've entered an era where we need to be far more selective in how we invest our water, he said. Bureau of Reclamation Commissioner Camille Kalimlam Tutin said during a U.S. Senate hearing this month in Washington that it is imperative for the seven Colorado River Basin states to come up with a plan for those additional cuts by mid-August and warned that the Bureau has the authority to act unilaterally to protect the system, and we will protect the system. To put the magnitude of those cuts into context, 4 million acre-feet, the upper range of the reductions mentioned by Tutin, would exceed the total amount of water Arizona gets each year and nearly equal California's annual entitlement of 4.4 million acre-feet. These are gruesome times. So nobody should doubt that these aren't enormous cuts that are being called for, said Jack Schmidt, director of the Center for Colorado River Studies at Utah State University. Pulling off 4 million acre-feet in reductions, which equates to about 20% of the total annual consumptive use and losses along the entire Colorado River Basin, would be enormous, he said. Whether those cuts will be enough remains to be seen. Nobody knows what will happen next winter. Is there a non-zero probability that it could be worse? Yes, Schmidt said. Right now we're in a very no-nonsense water crisis.